Okay, let's take a look at problem number three. So for the first part, we should find our total. So this circuit has one, two, three, four branches. So we're going to have to change it from four branches to three, then three branches to two, then two branches to one to find our answer. So it's going to take three steps. Our first step, we're going to combine, let's label these R1, R2, R3, and R4. So step one, we're going to combine R3 and R4 so that we get some new circuit where we have R1 that hasn't changed. We have R2, which hasn't changed. And then we're going to combine R3 and R4 into some new number, which we'll just call, call R. So the goal is we're going to combine these two in order to make one here. So R3 and R4 become R. R1 stays the same. R2 stays the same. Okay, to solve for this, we know R3 times R4 over R3 plus R4 is going to be our combination. So we're going to say R is equal to this. So we have 18 and 36. So R is equal to 36 ohms times 18 ohms divided by 36 plus 18. So for here, we just need to solve for it. 36 times 18, we get 648 divided by 36 plus 18, we get 54. So 648, 648 divided by 54, we get 12. So R is going to be equal to 12. So this is our new resistance here, would be 12 ohms. Uh, for next step, we're going to combine these two. So we're going to combine these two into a new one. So R1 still stays the same as uh, 6.0 ohms. Then we have some new R, which we'll call R prime, or R quotation mark, R prime. So R prime is going to be equal to R times R2, or let's just go in order, R2 times R over R2 plus R. So here, um, we're going to do 12 times 12 divided by 12 plus 12. So we get 144 over 24, so we should get 6. 144 divided by 24, we get 6 is our answer. So R prime equals 6 ohms. So we have 6 ohms here. Okay, and then for our last step, we're going to combine these two. So our total R, our total is going to be equal to, again, R1 times R prime over R1 plus R prime. So six times six over six plus six. So we get 36 divided by 12. 36 divided by 12, we should get a total of three. So our total should be three ohms. So this is going to be moved on to part two.